Hi Lego fans! It's Wikiwa Wednesday the 7th of December, and if you were looking for Advent Calendar Door Opening Madness, you just hit the mother load. Yesterday was a great day with two amazing minifigures and um, this. Harry Potter took Gift of the Day for the Moaning Myrtle minifig, and Star Wars was sent to the Bog of Eternal Stench. With 30 gifts liberated so far from their cardboard tombs, LEGO Friends is in last place with a frightful 14 points, LEGO City is in joint third place with 18 points alongside Guardians of the Galaxy. But leading the pack is LEGO Star Wars, and they're joined by LEGO Harry Potter, both with 19 points. Are you ready to release some more victims? We're getting off to a magical start today with the boy wizard and we're up to door number 7 already. Can you believe it? It'll be Christmas before we know it. Oh, I think I know what that is. Um, it looks like a teeny tiny night bus. You can actually make out the triple decker uh, or the three decks here. That actually looks quite cute. Very, very small. And unless you know what you're looking at, you might not recognise this, but definitely the night bus. So let's put this little baby together and take a closer look. What a cute little build this is. If you're in any doubt, allow my friend to explain. Welcome to the Night Bus, emergency transport for the stranded witch or wizard. My name is Stan Shunpike and I will be your conductor this evening. Ah, oh, ticket inspectors, you've got to hand it to them. When I was a kid, I always wanted to take the bus to school, but it wouldn't fit through the door. The Night Bus, spelt with a kicking K, is a triple decker purple AEC Region 3 RT, a bus to you and I which assists stranded individuals of the wizarding community through public transportation. To date, LEGO has created four versions of the night bus, plus a promotional item. This is perhaps the smallest one to date, and is adorable. This micro-scale scene shows the night bus in Little Whinging, where it is caught by Harry in The Prisoner of Azkaban. If you ever go to the Harry Potter studio experience, the place where this was filmed is in the housing estate on the opposite side of the roundabout, outside of the studio building. The scene comes complete with a flickering lamppost, and the pavement which Harry jumps onto to save himself from being knocked silly. The night bus itself is absolutely perfect, and made out of just 11 LEGO elements. The stud at the front works perfectly as a grill, and we even have trans 1x2 plates for the three decks. We're just missing the shrunken head and the night bus logo. While this may not be festive, it is a great little gift for Harry Potter fans. Next we have those enterprising LEGO friends who seem to be putting together some kind of Christmas market for laundering drug money. And what have we got in door number 7? I think this is the one I accidentally uh, punched in earlier, so that's why it opened so easily. And what have we got here? Um, actually, that looks pretty cool. Um, another one of these little market stalls. Not all bad. Um, is that a hot dog? Yes, it's a hot dog stand. Not bad, not bad. I'm not sure that's festive. There's no green little star there, maybe festive, um, yeah, we'll have to see if there's anything better, but yeah, little hot dog stand, I shall put that together, and then we shall feast. So absolutely no problem with identification here. This is clearly a hot dog stand, although they seem to lack the accoutrements to make it a Chicago style hot dog. This does of course come with a mechanically reclaimed meat treat. Why do hot dogs look alike? They're all in bread. Oh man, hot dog jokes are the worst. I do like the hot dog bun element and the way the standard Lego salami slots inside. The hot dog stall itself is a fairly simple construction. I like the use of textured 1x2 bricks, and on top we find one of the Lego Friends gold stars. It's a nice little thing, but the question is, is it festive? I'm sure all of the Lego Friends fans will be saying yes. By the way, thank you both of you for watching, but to see my judgement, you'll have to wait till the end of the video. Next we have LEGO Star Wars, which is off to a very strong start. Let's see if we can find a minifigure behind door number 7. And um, no, that's not a minifigure. What is that? Oh, that's easy, that's easy. Original trilogy, um, it's a land speeder. In fact, it looks like Luke's land speeder. You know, the one he based around on Tatooine in. Uh, yeah, nice little thing, nice little thing. Let's put this together and see if it's worthy of a few points. And so we have a perfect recreation of Luke's land speeder, which we see him riding around in on Tatooine. I was once going to take a vacation on Tatooine, but the ratings were terrible. Two stars. <laughs> Luke's land speeder was the X34 version, which went out of favour when the XP38 came out. 
It's actually an impressive little build and fairly complicated to put together. LEGO has used a variety of different elements and build techniques to keep this interesting. The part count is modest, but elements like the Transclear windshield really bring the land speeder to life. Even the tan colour scheme makes it perfect for the planet of Tatooine. I hear that Luke Skywalker used to be a policeman before he was sent to the planet of Tatooine. Unfortunately, he was fired for use of excessive force. It's a cracking little gift, but will it be enough to crack five points? We'll find out in just a couple of minutes. Hey, this is Future Jeremy. I forgot to turn on my microphone at this point, so what you'll hear is the audio coming through the camcorder. It's rubbish, but you're going to have to put up with it. The penultimate calendar for today is LEGO City, and will this be door number? Lucky door number seven. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, oh man. Um, is that the LEGO Friends gift again? Actually, that does look like the LEGO Friends gift, and it's got the same uh, red and white theming. Uh, I wonder if there's some collaboration going on here. That could make it difficult with the, uh, the festive uh, question today. But anyway, what have we got? So, we've got a little bakeware stand up. Cookies, I guess. Um, I don't remember agreeing to cookies. Uh, I didn't see the button. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we've got a little, what looks like a sugar cookie stand. These are the things we got with uh, Tippy. Uh, so let's put this together. Yeah, looks pretty much like the Friends thing. Apologies again for the microphone mishap. Technology like this really helps with the audio quality. I don't know. You wait all advent long for a Lego market stall and then you get two on the same day. At least this one has treats which are suitable for vegetarians. Maybe this is where Tipsy Dorman comes to buy his special cookies. Construction of the cookie stand is pretty similar to what we saw in LEGO Friends. We've got some textured 1x2 bricks for the legs, and then some pillars to hold up a makeshift canopy. I do like the tan pieces at the top which add a little style. Initially this made me think of the police, but I think this is more of a snow and ice decoration thing. Also kind of festive are those sugar cookies complete with red and green sprinkles. Why was the cookie crying? Because his mum was away for so long. And have you tried those new Wookiee cookies? They're a bit chewy. <coughs> Microphone on. Check. So our last calendar for today is Guardians of the Galaxy and we're on to door number seven. Hopefully door of a lucky, lucky door number seven. Man, I cannot speak today. And what on? earth do we have here? Um, what is that? Is it some kind of bomb? We've got gold things. Um, interesting elements, I'll give it that. Yeah, these gold uh, bullion elements. A little lightsaber handle in there maybe? No, no, no. Um, yeah, maybe. All kinds of clips, grills, uh, you name it. What on earth is this? Um, I don't know. I'm going to put it together have a figuring out session and I'll get back to you in just a second. And so from Guardians of the Galaxy we have a thing. I would have been completely stumped but Lego gave us a clue on the front of the box. This is part of Rocket Raccoon's personal arsenal, a collapsible blaster rifle. If I recall rightly we see him using this at the start of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. If I say so myself this is quite an impressive weapon, although guns should be treated with care. Mrs. H wouldn't shot me with the nail gun. She must think I'm a stud or something. Rocket acquired this firearm from a guy called T-Rex, a small arms dealer. <laughs> Once you've figured out what this is, you'll see there's a shoulder rest at the back, optics for aiming up on top, and some fancy orange stuff around the muzzle. Underneath there's a grey stand to support the weight, and a handle for snapping into the minifigure's hand. It reminds me of the gift we got yesterday. It was not obvious at first, but once you get it, it's easy to understand how it fits into the Guardians of the Galaxy theme. Is this threatening enough to bully me into giving it gift of the day? Let's find out! And so, another interesting day in the world of LEGO Advent Calendars. From LEGO Harry Potter, we got a teeny tiny night bus diorama. LEGO friends tried to bribe me with snacks, but forgot I was vegetarian. And from LEGO Star Wars, we got this really nice miniature version of Luke's land speeder. LEGO City, clearly desperate for points, tried to bribe me with Tippy's special cookies. And from Guardians of the Galaxy, nothing says Christmas like Rocket's Blaster. But which one of these gifts deserves a day out shooting Womp Rats and eating Tippy's special cookies? And which one deserves to be looking the wrong way down Rocket Raccoon's Blaster? Let's award some points! In last place, earning one point for LEGO City is the cookie stand. 
marginally better because of the hot dog element, LEGO Friends gets two points. Middle of the pack with three points, it's Rocket Raccoon's Blaster. This came so close to winning Gift of the Day, but I'm going to give four points to LEGO Harry Potter for the night bus. That means today's Gift of the Day, earning five points for LEGO Star Wars, is Luke's Land Speeder. It seems things are looking up for Star Wars. Shall I award a bonus point for Festive Gift of the Day? Yes, after all it is Christmas. A bonus point goes to LEGO City. But do you agree with today's scores? Can I expect to say hello to Rocket Raccoon's little friend for giving him three points? Or do I deserve not to get any of Tippy's special cookies for giving LEGO City last place? As always, please do share your thoughts in the comments section and I'll reply to as many as I can. Of course, the question on everybody's lips is after today's generous sprinkling of points, which calendar is first in line for calendar of the year 2022? In last place with a frightful 16 points is LEGO Friends. In fourth with 20 points, it's LEGO City. One ahead with 21 points are the Guardians of the Galaxy. And in second place, it's the Boy Wizard with 23 points. That means Star Wars has retaken the lead with a one point advantage and 24 points. Of course, that could all change tomorrow, so if you haven't already done so, do hit the subscribe button. I will of course be liberating five more festive treats from behind their cardboard doors tomorrow. So thanks a million for checking out the video, stay safe, and have a wicked and wild Wednesday.